we have seen a lot of uh, name dropping of these tools. Uh, about every presentation, as you mentioned, uh, one of the other two. Uh, we had a thing we talk specifically about Google Analytics, uh, that Microsoft talking about the, the ad center uh, with the search ranks. Uh, we also had uh, Pascal uh, start talking about uh, double click. Now, I'm not going to give you an overview of tools and what we do, uh, but I will try to do uh, in the 15 minutes that I have is uh, show you some insights that you can learn by using a different tool than the one that's right into your search campaign, uh, which is Google AdWords or Ad Center or General Overture. So, because in the end, it's all about using the right tool for the right job. Let's say, for example, that you want to study a picture. Uh, and that you want to focus on the brush strokes of a picture. Obviously, you would uh, use a macro lens to, uh, to look at those brush strokes. Um, it's the same with search. If you, if you uh, draw a parallel, it's about using uh, your search marketing uh, tools like Google AdWords and diving into the detail of the campaign. You have all the clicks. You know all about your cost per click, your CTR. But in, in fact, you're only looking at what happens between a search keyword type into Google and a click on your ad. And it's true that very fast, uh, these tools added one extension towards your site so that you could measure an action on your site. Um, so that you could attribute the conversion, the cost of conversion. Uh, but still, you're only looking at what happens on the, on the top box of your Google uh, search page or on the right side of your page. Everything that happens uh, with natural search, those tools are completely blind. They, they don't look at what happens in the, in the natural search results. So if you want to learn that, you have to go to another tool. You have to step back and the parallel is focusing on the color issue. It's, it's nice to see what the brush tools do, but um, what, what about the color issues of the brush tools? How do you assemble them to get uh, the results that you want? Um, and then you obviously use the on-site tracking tools, uh, which are uh, measuring everything that happens on your site, which are Google Analytics. But uh, Yahoo also recently acquired an analytics tool and recently a couple of years ago. And, uh, and you have uh, third-party tools also uh, in that category, like uh, which reference, uh, that's that, is that, uh, web stats, uh, uh, whatever permutation is that, uh, also uh, this one really um, And this, as you see, okay, I have keywords we talked about full with the trademark protection. Uh, they, they are very concerned about what happens when somebody types full into Google. Are they going to go to a competitor like BurgerCon and click on that ad? Are they clicking on their own page ad? Are they clicking on their own resellers because uh, we also have resellers? And uh, for that, we go to the uh, web analytics tool, obviously, and we see what the impact is uh, between the organic and the paid search mix. And by combining the two tools, uh, you now have access to, uh, from AdWords, the search volume, the number of times a keyword is typed in a month. Uh, you know how many times they click on their ads. You know how many times they click on their natural search ads because you know the visits. So you can make the, the calculation uh, approximately. And from that, you can subtract uh, the clicks that are sent to their computer. And so you can actually put a uh, measure on uh, traffic and then automatically uh, revenue that you lose uh, by having a competitor bid on your own trademark. Um, because obviously here, natural search will takes about every uh, every place being uh, above the font. So this is fine, but the next question is, how can I influence the number of people typing my brand? I want to get more conversion on the brand. I know that no first world. Those are people that know me and that look for a solution that I sell. How can I impact that? And from there, you can use another tool, which is a Google Insight tool, which you all know, where you can see the trends and the evolutions of those uh, search terms. But what's those, uh, those uh, searches. And there you have to take one step back and looking at composition. By the way, does somebody recognize the picture we're getting at? Some art covers here? See what was? Yes. So there you start to use the third category of tools that, that, uh, that we saw in the beginning, which are the off-site tracking tools. So these tools measure everything that happens before people come to your site. And uh, again, uh, Google brought in uh, two years ago in those uh, kind of information with double click. You have others. Microsoft uh, is associated with Atlas. It's no coincidence that the search engines have a presence uh, in these three categories of tools. 
And then you can track everything that happens before people get to your site. You can see uh, if they were impacted by the, your email marketing, by your ads, how many times they saw a banner, uh, whether they went to an affiliate store. You can uh, measure everything, tag everything, and obviously uh, get insights from, uh, from that information. Because this is a case that we did uh, in 2010, uh, beginning of 2010, one year old, uh, measuring the impact of a search uh, of a display campaign, uh, not just Google Display, but uh, throughout uh, every uh, um, uh, display uh, uh, that was used in Lazarus for a travel uh, um, company. So we measured the impact of increasing the number of uh, banners on the site and the number of searches on the brand term that they generated in Google. And we saw a very co co correlation uh, between these. We saw that when we had a, a high pressure uh, with banners, everybody knows that nobody clicks on banners, so it was difficult to, to uh, measure uh, a, a relation between a banner click and a search or a conversion, but between a banner impression and a search, you see that there's a high uh, correlation. By the way, it's also it's very interesting because this shows you that the search is actually running with the conversions that are generated through uh, other channels like everybody uh, who, who has been studying this for some time already uh, knows to some extent. Um, this is fine, but this is something looking at what happens online. You can measure everything with your website tracking tool. Uh, what about the other investments? Uh, these are the Belgian investments 2010. Advertisement online is this part. You see? And this is TV. So the majority of the ad doors uh, are still going, in, or viewers in Belgium, are still going to TV, radio, newspapers, and only a very small fraction of that is going to uh, online. Now, the, the bad thing is that here you have the least investment, but you have the highest measure of, um, of, of uh, accountability. You can measure, track everybody, everything, every exposure. You sometimes, and very often, drown. drown uh, in, uh, in too much data, and uh, it's, it's a real art now to get the insights from there. But look at all the investments that are made to where you still have very approximate studies and, and, and very uh, approximate KPIs uh, used like uh, pressure and, and, and these kind of things. Right? Now the holy grail, of course, is combining finally uh, these uh, two. And this is where the future uh, lies, and this is what's needed to get a full picture um, of your uh, marketing campaigns. And currently, we're not there yet. Um, there's no easy way to bridge the gap between both. Uh, it is on the roadmap of several tool uh, developers and several agencies uh, on a more quiet level. So we're getting there for the very big accounts uh, in travel, um, uh, retail. Uh, these kind of, of measurements are uh, used actively to drive the offline investments. Uh, for example, your TV of your, or, your, or, or your radio ads are directly linked with your search investments. Um, but in the meantime, it can only be used, um, uh, in fact, after the fact, and as a, as a predictive tool for your future investments. This is a case we did uh, three years ago for uh, Nicolette, it was, where we measured in Belgium the uh, search, the um, evolution of the paid search campaigns, and when there was a TV ad running for Nicolette, uh, you, you really see a, a very clear improvement. So TV is still working. <laughs> Um, so this, uh, there is a reason that all the investments are going to TV, but uh, you see that they have direct impact on your uh, paid search campaign. But again, here, um, the message that I want to give you here is that if you want to have a full view, you need to uh, stop looking just at your uh, adverse KPIs and my clicks and, and be blinded by your uh, uh, progression on conversion, cost per conversion. You, you, for, for a very big part of your campaign optimization and campaign management, you are actually very dependent on what happens outside of your little uh, top sponsored links uh, box uh, in Google. Um, and then you can go much further, of course. This is, uh, this is more of a given, but you can also uh, try to find out how your competitor invests. And, uh, and if your competitor is not linking his offline investments with his search investments, well, that's an opportunity for you. I gave an example here, but uh, uh, when, uh, when there's a radio uh, announcement on the, on the, on the car insurance, uh, on the bank selling car insurance, so we actually saw that uh, we could get a lot of car insurance search terms, generic search terms, not the brand of the bank, um, uh, and we, we boosted the investments to 
during that period to get those uh, searches generated actually by investments done by their competitor outside of Google. So that's that's it. So in the meantime, if you want to see the full picture, so who saw who knows it? No? Yes, I'm going to go. Uh, we, can, yeah, we, can, we can have a look at the uh, Google Art project. I don't know if you're familiar with this. It made some announcement a couple of months ago, I think. And it's actually a very nice site where you can zoom into uh, the, the master works of, uh, of a lot of museums throughout the world, up to the brush strokes that we saw in the beginning. So you, you actually really see the canvas. Of, uh, and if you go back to the presentation, you'll see that you even missed, uh, if you see the canvas, you even missed the spot. But, um, and if you want to know more about search marketing, uh, well, that's uh, where, why we're here for also, so you can download the paper if you want to work on it.